You see the googly eyes there. Hello everyone, I hope all is well. Welcome in for another video. This one, looking at my top spring soaps. This is in response to a tag from Tim over at the Scented Soldier Shaves. If you haven't checked out his channel, I encourage you to do so. He is one of the most innovative YouTube wet shavers slash fragrance guys out there. He does some great videos that are th themed around uh, his career as a soldier. It's it's uh, it's it's a great it's a great channel. Go go check it out. So what's not in this video are soaps that I would use year round. And rather than name what they are, I'll show them in another video. I'll do my favorite year round soaps. I've done a spring summer video before. I've done a fall winter soap video before. So this is the first time I'm breaking it out into four separate seasons thanks to Tim's tag. Now before I get into my list, I also want to tag three people. That is Gear Noir, Dave in Kentucky and Wet Shaving with Angelo. Now guys, if you have time and want to do this, please do. Otherwise, yeah, i got other stuff going on. I completely understand. Just wanted to give you the opportunity to do this video and thought about the three of you. All right, starting it off at number five, Dapper Doc from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. This is Fig and Lilac. My wife does not make a whole lot of comments about the fragrances I wear or the scent she smells off my shaving gear. But there are two in particular that she has commented on. The first one that she really, really liked that she smelled was Sterling's Barbershop. The second one was this one. She walked in the other day and smelled this and said, what's that smell? Because she didn't know what it was. She could just smell it. And I said, is it this? And she said, oh, yes. I wish our whole house smelled like that. Now, she really likes this. And so part of what I did is I had a coupon to get... Uh, one of the EDTs for half off at Phoenix, and I actually ordered this for her and for me. It's kind of a unisex scent, which I'm sure a lot of you are not into, but this one is, it's kind of fruity. There's also a sharp, a sharpness to it. It, it, it makes, makes me think of uh, springtime. It's floral, fruity, and those are not usually notes, particularly the fruity notes, would not be something I would go for. You know, one of the things Doug does great at Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements is he goes into a lot of history behind the inspiration for his soaps. And Doug makes a good case for why Doc Holliday might have smelled this way. It's a great scent. My wife loves it. I'm probably going to buy her one of the Vent scents from Phoenix. It's where you can buy your favorite scent from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Clip this little thing to your vent, or AC vent in your car. And, you know, it helps to circulate that smell. It's kind of a diffuser activated by your air conditioner. Now, this one makes me think of spring, particularly as this one dries down. You get a more of darker notes. It becomes more masculine as it dries down. Uh, I really, really, really love this fragrance. That's number five, Dapper Doc from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Coming in at number four, Fougere Mania from Holy Cow. Now, you know my love for Holy Cow. The previous base, this base, I just love the way Holy Cow soaps perform. This one is Neroli, so it's a very floral note. Now, Neroli is the orange blossom flower, if you're not familiar with what that is. This makes me think of spring. It smells like fresh flowers. It's very floral, but yet there's an earthy and green undertone. This is one of those soaps that when I first got it and I sniffed it, I thought, oh, I'm not sure this is in my wheelhouse. But then when I used it, particularly the second time I used it, it started to unfold for me. I could smell some of the other notes in there. And in addition to that floral neroli, you have lavender, amber, oak moss, coumarin, tonka bean, musk, and labdanum. Now, this is a beautiful, beautiful scent. It's making me want to purchase the Splash. It's perfect for spring. Number four, Fougere Mania from Holy Cow. Coming in at number three, we have Tombstone from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Another PAA soap in this list. This one I love because it is a barbershop that has some floral notes in it and also has that note of gunpowder and the note of leather. So the notes all together on this are gunpowder, leather, tobacco, geranium, bergamot, and rose. And it's a very specific rose called the Lady Bankiska or Bankiskia, Lady Bankiskia. And Doug notes the source of that scent comes from this specific rose that he sources from Tombstone, Arizona. This is kind of connected to that whole 
uh, Doc Holliday Western theme. If you can imagine gunpowder, leather, and tobacco with some floral notes running underneath, that's what you get here. This is another one that becomes more and more masculine as it dries down, but it absolutely makes me think of spring, and I'll be using it a lot this spring. At number three, Tombstone from PAA. Okay, my number four soap, Fougere Mania, is relatively new. This is another brand new one. This is Sunny Lane from Barrister and Man. See the googly eyes there. From the, the label there, you can actually see the feathers. That's because it looks like Big Bird's feathers. And you see Sunny Lane looks like a lot like Sesame Street. Now, the three notes listed on the front are Sweet Clover, Bergamot, and Oak Moss. In addition to those notes, there's also Vetiver. Now, Will, who's the artisan behind Barrister and Man, said this is inspired by his childhood. And it does have all these outside grassy notes. What's cool about this soap is that Will is donating $2 of each sale to the Corporation for Public Broadcasting affiliate WSKG. So this goes to children's programming. As a child of the 70s and 80s, I grew up on Sesame Street, Electric Company, Mr. Rogers, Zoom, and also watched a ton of Justin Wilson, Cajun Cooking, and Bob Ross, Joy of Painting. So I have a huge love for public television. This one could not be more spring. It smells like the beginning of spring, early spring. You know, one of the challenges for me in doing this list, separating summer and spring, is that living in the South, spring is really, really short in terms of the temperature, and we go to summer pretty quickly. This is a great spring scent. Slightly floral, floral grassy, earthy. Yeah, it makes you think of playing outside as a kid. So number two, that Sunny Lane from Barrister and Man. Coming in at number one is TSM Fougere from Declaration Grooming in partnership with Chatillion Lux. Now, I'm pretty sure this stands for the Shave Market Fougere. I think it was done for the Shave Market. Part of the problem is, is it's hard to find a product page for this because I think this one's been discontinued. I hope that Chatillion Lux and Declaration bring this back. This is the greenest scent I own, and I don't just mean the label. I mean it's got those notes that are sort of grassy. So the scent notes on this are oak moss, incense, lavender, vetiver, neroli, tonka bean, pettigrain, nagar matha, I have no idea what that is, clary sage, cedarwood, grass, musk, bergamot, grapefruit, Spanish moss, violet, geranium, violet leaf, and anise. Now, I love the scents from Chatillion Lux. I know that some of them can be a little polarizing. This one is very, very green. In fact, I was helping, having my daughter smell through the soaps I was looking at for spring. She didn't care for this one, but I love it. Uh, she felt it was too green. She doesn't like the smell of fresh cut grass. Uh, so that's kind of what put her off is there's a note like that in here. And that's why it makes me think of spring. But one of the things I love with Chatillion Lux fragrances is they're always daring. Uh, and this one is. To me, I love it, and uh, it's perfect for spring. But spring is probably the only time I could wear it. Probably could wear it during summer uh, when it's not super hot. But that earthiness and grassiness and floral chords come together nicely into a well-blended scent. It's hard to pick out anything but sort of this herbaceous greenness that that's just says spring. So yeah, that's number one. TSM Fougere from Satillion Lux Declaration Grooming. Hope they bring it back. Uh, let me know if you find it anywhere. I did see the toner and perhaps the splash still available out there somewhere, uh, but I think that stockists are just selling out of what they have. But hopefully this will come back one day. Really, really like this scent. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I've got tons of videos in the pipeline. Just a lot of those need a lot of editing. They're reviews, but they're coming. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. And also just a reminder of tagging Dave in Kentucky, Gear Noir, and Wet Shaving with Angelo in this video. Thanks, Tim, for the tag. Love your channel. I'm probably going to do a spring summer fragrances. I may do just spring in terms of men's colognes, EDTs, EDPs, but I definitely will be doing my top summer soaps coming up pretty soon. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.